Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do some shell ejection for our weapons. So, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to have at the end. So we have a, this shell. If we take the shotgun, we're going to have a different shell. And same thing for the sniper rifle. First step we have to do is going to each of our skeleton mesh for our weapon. So the assault rifle here. I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the shotgun and the sniper rifle. So now we have all of them. So in each of them, we're going to have to create a new socket. So we're going to add socket. I'm going to name the socket shell ejection. I'm going to place the socket where you want it. So in this case here, I put it a little bit further up the weapon here. Uh, if you put it too further back, uh, you may not see it spawning in your game. So if you put, if you put that a little bit further up, it should be all good. So you're going to repeat the same process for each of the weapons. So you have it, it's right here. We're going to do the shotgun. So you click add, add socket. You place your socket where you want it. So in this case, I put it around here. Don't put it too close from the weapon. Otherwise, you're going to do a collision and it may go in a different direction. So be aware of this. And same thing for the sniper rifle. Right click on it. Add socket. Call your socket shell ejection place it where you want it and you'll be all set and good to go for this so we're going to close each of the weapon because the socket is created we're going to go for the ammunition so each of the ammunition so we have one for the sniper rifle and the assault rifle i mean so the assault rifle is right here we need to make sure that we have collision on it so we'll add the collision and save that i'm going to repeat the same process for each of the other weapons so shotgun shell same thing collision had collision and save it and then one more to do is the assault rifle so assault rifle here you can click on it collision had collision and save it and it would be all set and good to go for this so now the other step that we have to do is going to our gun folder here and we have to create a new actor that new actor it will be the shell itself that we're going to spawn in the game so we're going to create a blue a blue a blueprint actor and we're going to call that bp underscore shell ejection underscore master because it's going to be our master blueprint we're going to go right in it we're going to add the static mesh and that static mesh we're going to call it shell there we go and we're going to click on shell and we're going to set up the default location for this so the rotation will be 90 and the other one would be 105 and this one would be 180. So all our necks will be set up accordingly, will be correct when they're going to spawn. So after this, we're going to create and add a rotating movement. So we're going to add rotating movement. We're going to click on it. And the rotating movement, we're going to put 100 and minus 100. And we're going to compile this. And one more thing we're going to have is a projection movement. So projectile movement. And we're going to compile and save this. So now we should be all good with this. And one more thing, actually, we're going to have to a sphere collision. So click on your default row and just type collision. And we're going to put a capsule collision or uh, sorry, a sphere collision. And everything will go. I mean the shell will go under the sphere collision like this and we'll be all set with that actually let me check the scale perfect and we're going to compile this so we're all good with this so we can close it and now we're going to create three child blueprint one for each of our weapon so we're going to right right click on it create a child blueprint and we're going to call this one assault rifle i'm going to repeat the same process for the shotgun and once again for our sniper rifle and we're going to open each of them so we're going to start by the assault rifle and the sphere not the sphere the shell for the static mesh we're going to click on this and we're going to search for the rifle 
and we're going to select the assault rifle B ammunition. If I zoom here, you're going to see it's right there. So it's exactly what we want. I'm going to compile this and we can exit and we're going to repeat the same process twice for each of uh, the other one. So we have the shotgun here. So shell, I'm going to search for shotgun. I'm going to take the ammunition. I'm going to compile. We can close it and we're going to open it again for the sniper rifle this time. Shell, I'm going to search for sniper, take the ammunition for it. And we're all good with this. So now everything is set up. So the only thing we have to do is set up, set up in one more thing. Sorry, we have to set up the master class. So we're going to go to items, open our weapon master class. And under weapon master class, we're going to create two new variable. And those variable will help us to select which shell that we need. So we're going to call that shell ejection. And the type will be for the a blueprint for the shell ejection. So we're going to search for shell ejection. We're going to take the master shell ejection and we're going to do a class reference and we're going to compile this. And we're going to add one more variable and this one will be shell sound hit floor and this one will be a sound so we're going to search for sound base and it's going to be an object reference and we're going to compile this so now each of our weapon should have access to those two variable now so we can close the master one and go back to each of our weapons so the blueprint assault rifle we're going to be selecting the blueprint for the shell so it's going to be the assault rifle right here i'm going to compile and we can close this i'm going to repeat the process for the shotgun and the sniper rifle so shotgun and we're going to select the good one so shell here i'm going to take the one for the shotgun and once again for the sniper rifle and sniper and compile this so now we're good so if you have a sound a specific sound that you want your ammunition to do you can put it right here so when it's going to hit the floor it's going to play this sound so now we're all good so we can go to our first person character and we can start the logic to have our shell spawn in the game so we're going to do a custom event i'm going to call that shell ejection and if we go back just a little bit here we're going to find our fire optional gun here and we're going to call that shell ejection. So now when this get called, it's going to call this at the same time. We're going to do the logic for this. So we take a reference to our weapon master class, take the weapon master class and we're going to search for the our first person gun. If I know how to spell that. Go to all the way down, it should be right here. I'm going to do a get. So, this is the weapon that we have in our hand according to our master class. So, from that, we're going to drag and get our socket, and it's going to be the transform that we want because we want to spawn this somewhere in our game. We're going to drag from our shell ejection, and we're going to spawn an actor from class, and we're going to plug the spawn transform right here we're going to search from our master class here and we're going to be able to search for the shell ejection so we're going to take this one here which is our class reference that we just set up in each of our weapon so that way it's going to spawn the exact shell that we want and we're going to put that right in our class here the collision will be always spawned no matter what and the socket here is need to be the socket that we have in each of our weapons. So we called that shell ejection. And here we're going to simulate physics. So simulate, simulate our physic. And it's going to be the physic for our mesh. So this one here. However, it's not going to be this mesh. It's going to be the mesh from our spawn actor, which is shell that we called it so we're gonna get shell and if you don't remember i can show you quick 
So go back in our gun here, and if we go in our master class, it's this uh, static mesh here that we're referring to, and which is right here, and it's going to be plugged right here because it's going to be our target. We want to simulate physics for this, so we're going to check this box. So we're going to add some impulsion because we want our shell to be ejected at different speed and different rotation and different location and all that jazz. So we're going to drag from our shell here and we're going to get the forward vector. And we're going to do once again, this one, we're going to get the right vector. I'm going to drive from the forward vector. We're going to search for a multiplier. And we're going to change the pin here by right clicking and do a float. So that way it's going to give us access to random integer in range. And the number that we're going to put here is going to be 1 up to 5. And we're going to copy this and put it down here. And we're going to plug our return value to it. Same thing, we're going to change the pin to a float. And we're going to search again for a integer in range. And it's going to be minus 10, not 100, minus 10 to minus, I don't know, 30. So this is the number that you may have to play with it. If your shell go off your gun way too fast, you can play with those numbers to slow down the speed. So we're going to take those two multiplier and we're going to add them together. So just search for plus. I'm going to plug those two together. And now we're going to be able to add the impulsion. So we're going to drag from our set simulate physics. We're going to add our impulsion. One for mesh. We're going to delete the mesh because it's not this one, but this one here. I'm going to double click for a reroute node. So it's looking a little bit better. And I'm going to plug the plus to the impulsion right up here. I'm going to compile that. Now we're going to have impulsion to our shell. So we're going to do a little comment on this. I'm going to call that impulse. I'm going to compile, make sure it's safe and we don't lose anything. And here we're going to drag from the impulsion and do a little delay. And delay of 0.3 seconds, it's fine. And we're going to play a sound. And the sound is going to be a sound 2D. Remember, sound 2D play everywhere in the level and location at a specific location. Actually, I'm going to take the play sound 2D because I'm not doing a multiplayer. And I'm going to drag from this and this will be our reference to our sound in our weapon master class. So get the weapon master class. I'm going to drag from this and I'm going to search for our shell hit the ground. So shell sound hit floor. And we're going to plug that right up here. So according to the sound that we put in each weapon, it's going to play this sound. And we're going to do another delay. Maybe something like 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, we're going to destroy our actor, which is our shell. So we're going to drag from the destroy actor to our shell, not this one here, but the one from the return value. We can double click on this and do a reroute node. And we can drag that all the way down to the end. So it's looking a little bit better. Something like this. So now we're going to go through the code. Just make sure that we know exactly what it's doing. And we can double check if there's any error at the same time. So when we are calling our shell ejection, it's going to go to our weapon master class. It's going to get the gun that we have in our hand. And it's going to get the good blueprint according to what we set up in each of our weapon. And it's going to spawn an actor, which is our blueprint, so the shell, to this socket here that we set up in each of our weapon, in each of the skeleton weapon. And it's going to add physics to it, so it means that it's going to fall to the ground. So when the shell go off your gun, it's going to have the forward vector with a random integer in range, not random integer, but random float in range. So it's going to spawn a different location. And this is going to be a different speed. We add those two together to add that to our impulsion. We wait 0.3 seconds. It's going to play a sound saying that the shell hit the ground. 
we're going to wait 10 seconds and destroy our actor so that way it's not going to lag our game if we have too much in the level. So we can try this out. So we're going to go to our first person map, do play. We're going to put that in full screen. We're going to take our assault rifle. Here we go. You can see that all our shell is going out. I'm going to drop the gun by pressing B, take our shotgun. So we can see that now we have a different ammunition. We're going to drop this and use the sniper rifle. So we do have different shell for each of our weapons. So that's pretty much how you do this. There's other way, obviously. So I will catch you on the next one. See ya.